Hey everybody, Brian Hunt here with you again. In this video, I'm going into my favorite type of bag to use with my cameras for video production. So I apologize in advance if I sound a little stuffed up and if my breathing is more heavier than normal. I know I do have some a lot of breathing uh, that I have to deal with in post on some of my videos. So if you're hearing more of that, it's because I'm just recovering from COVID. Whole family's got it. Um, I'm kind of my sixth day now and caught it on a flight home from Germany with my wife. So that is my deep breathing or extra deep breathing more than normal that's going on right now. So <laughs> let's get into the bags, my favorite bag to use. And that would be oh, a bag like this. And it's more, it's not the specific bag, even though this bag is awesome. It's the style of bag. And the style of bag is what's referred to as a doctor's bag. Uh, we're a doctor's bag because, you know, traditionally or in the old days, doctors would come in with a bag that would open from the top and they'd have all their instruments and things inside of that. And that's the style of bag. So when you're searching for a bag like this, you would search for a doctor's bag. And that's what most companies are naming them. <clears throat> so it opens up the top like this. What and why I like using this style of bag for my cameras is that I can have my camera fully built up. So camera can be in here. There's an FX9, fully built, right? So only thing I don't have on this that I can't fit in with the bag is I can't fit on the side handle onto here. But otherwise, I can have everything on here and I can pull it out of the bag besides putting on the side handle I'm basically ready to shoot. I got so sick of um, either just throwing my camera into the back of my vehicle or my truck with a seatbelt or something like that because you know I didn't want to have to tear it down or rebuild it or if I'm jumping from location to location or you know we're getting to a location and we don't have time to do a camera build when I get there or I don't want to spend that time doing that. Having a camera that's fully built, ready to go right out of the bag is awesome and super convenient for me. Obviously a bag like that, you know, I can't travel with that. I can't be flying with that. If I'm doing that, then I need to be using something like a smaller Pelican case or a smaller rolly case. I prefer to use something like a smaller rolling case, a soft case over a Pelican case only just because it doesn't look like you have camera gear in there. And Pelican gears, even though they have the new uh, Pelican cases, sorry, even though they have the new ones that are lighter, they still too take up quite a bit of weight. But having a camera that I can just pull out of the bag and ready to go is awesome. I, I really find this convenient. And this is what I use 90% of the time when I'm traveling to a gig. You know, a lot of times a, a producer might ask you, okay, so, you know, how much time do you need for a camera prep? Or how much time do you need for building the camera when you get on location? And I like to say, as quick as it takes me to take the camera out of the bag, for the most part, you know, Sometimes we're doing camera prep and doing stuff the day before, but having a bag like this for me is one of my favorite things and really go-to things. I'll show you another one I have <clears throat> that's smaller. So something like this. This is a smaller one. And in here, I have a built up, ready to go Sony A1 setup. Okay, that same little uh, doctor's bag I have there, a lot of times I will have a built up gimbal in here. It's just a way to put the gimbal in, have the camera on there. It's all balanced, everything, but it's a way to keep it safe while traveling or while going from location to location. The other cool thing is when I'm using a, a bag like this and that other bigger one I was showing you, there's a lot more other room in here in other pockets. So on these other one, on this bag, I also have about six other V mounts in here. So a bunch of other V mounts ready to go. I have a set of earphones in here. I have an audio kit in here, a wireless transmitter. Um, I usually put in the pockets in the front here. I'll have my extra cards. I might have some other things in here. Um, you know, a little color chart. So a bag like this is just a really convenient way to carry your camera fully built up. And I've just found this just making things quicker, making life easier. I'm not worrying about, is everything working? Did I put everything in the case? 
how much time do I need to build a camera when I get places? Plop it in here, it's protected. Put that in the seat, put that back in the back of my truck, wherever I'm ready to go. So this is not a review on a specific type of bag. It's more just on showing you my favorite style of bag, which would be the doctor bags. And these things just work great. They're a great investment to have. I know I'll be using these bags for years to come. And even if I'm changing cameras, they're likely gonna be able to make them to fit within these ones. You can get different sizes. This one here, it's the uh, RCO. I don't know if I'm saying this right. I'll put a link in the description below. But this one, um, you, I think they have three different sizes. I believe this is a medium size, it's a bigger size. This other one I have down there, which you know, big enough to hold the FX9. But these are really my go-to bags for putting my cameras in and having stuff readily available and quickly available to use when I'm on shoots. Thanks so much, guys. If you like this video, please think of giving me a thumbs up. Please think of subscribing to the channel hit that notification bell, and we'll see you guys on the next one.